What's up guys? So today's purpose of this, I guess. Um, what's up guys? So the purpose of this segment is to test your um, home defense flashlight to see, you know, I talked a little bit about usability or application um, and really this is what this was pertaining to. So as I was sweeping the, you know, kind of checking out the basement, um, I noticed there is a very big difference in a TLR1, which is my preferred for home defense, which has got about 11,000 candela. Um, and that, you know, it's just a, your candela is gonna be how bright it is, but it's also gonna concentrate it for a more powerful beam. So when you're buying these lights, you need to know what your intended purpose is, how it's gonna be used, and then also how it's going to operate. So um, in my personal opinion, the uh, X300 Turbo uh, is a fantastic, an amazing light however it is very concentrated and very hard to see a lot peripheral wise so um, right now I'm just using my uh, camera on my phone just to you know talk to you guys but I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off and I'm gonna demonstrate the X300 and how powerful it is and it's awesome but I think it's more for you know outside use um, if you ever if there was ever like a bigger issue like you know everybody knows what happened during COVID if that was to go even worse and people started you know having to move around and, and for safety and things like that and travel I think outside wise um, trying to combat somebody who's in a car vehicle anything like that you'd be actually able to overpower with it being so concentrated the driver uh, or whoever's in there to try to you know send some shots through the windshield or whatever the case may be that'd be a excellent um, you know tool for that application if you know you had to defend yourself against anyone in that scenario or if they had a light and you wanted to you know obscure their vision that would be a little bit better but in terms of like not knowing where your target is or anything like that trying to sweep an area I think TLR1 just far succeeds in that aspect is it is blinding or capable in terms of you know distance absolutely not but that's part of the name of the game so let me shut these off and I will show you what I'm talking about. So first we're going to do the X300. As you can see, incredibly bright. Now we're going to do the TLR1. As you can see, much bigger radius and also your peripherals. As I aim it over there, you can still see significantly to the left. So I'm going to use both of them at the same time. You'll be able to still see definitely both. But notice this, as I aim this one at the wall, it is very dim towards the left. Now I'm gonna aim in the same location with the other one, TLR1. Notice how much brighter the left side gets. So now I'm gonna shut this one off. So, X300. TLR1, look at how much more you can sweep with the TLR1, even aiming anywhere else, you really get a lot more area to cover. And it also lights up above you, below you, a lot better. The beam on this one travels much further, and although it's great for concentrated focus and it still has a decent area of view as you stand further back that gets more limited yes it does increase the center of the beam but it's also making it harder for your peripherals same with the TLR1 you seem to get more just all over So to each their own, I personally like the, on the other side of it, I like the design of the X300 and I like the um, toggle switches better. I think they're more tactile, they're a little harder to push, they're easier for them to stay on, um, easier for them to you know not switch into the other mode, in my personal opinion, um, but nevertheless, these are just my opinion. That, that is all just my opinion. So thank you so much for watching, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you next time.